Psoriasis is more than what we see on the surface. It is a chronic autoimmune condition that accelerates the life cycle of skin cells, leaving red, itchy, scaly patches across the body. But what drives this relentless cycle? To find the root causes, we must travel beneath the skin, into genes, immune cells, and the very triggers of inflammation. At the heart of psoriasis lies an immune system gone astray. Dendritic cells, the sentinels of defense, release interferon alpha, activating armies of T-helper cells. Among them, the T1 and T17 subsets lead the charge releasing waves of inflammatory cytokines. These molecules, TNF-alpha, interleukin-17 and interleukin-23, ignite a feedback loop. They amplify immune responses, recruit more cells, and instruct keratinocytes to grow too quickly, never maturing properly. The result is a vicious cycle. Skin cells turn over in days instead of weeks. Plaques grow thick and scaly, blood vessels expand to feed the inflammation. The skin becomes a battlefield without end. YL-17 and IL-23 are central villains in this drama. They not only maintain the fire but also recruit neutrophils and macrophages, fueling tissue damage and sustaining the storm. They even promote angiogenesis, the growth of new blood vessels, to feed the inflammation. Genes write the blueprint of risk. Psoriasis runs in families, passed down like hidden codes. The strongest link lies in the sores one locus, especially the HLAC0602 allele. But psoriasis is polygenic, over nine susceptibility regions contribute, interacting in ways we are only beginning to understand. Genes regulating interleukins like IL-12B and IL-23R shape the IL-23 slash the 17 pathway. Tumor necrosis factor variants drive skin inflammation, even genes affecting the skin barrier itself tilt the balance toward disease. But genes are only the loaded gun. The trigger is environmental. Stress, smoking, seasonal changes, trauma to the skin, known as the Cobner phenomenon, all conspire to awaken dormant pathways. Infections can light the fuse. Streptococcal throat infections often trigger gut hate psoriasis. Raindrop-shaped lesions appearing overnight. HIV infection too worsens psoriasis by distorting immune function. Even medications can provoke psoriasis. Beta blockers for the heart, lithium for bipolar disorder, anti-malarials like chloroquine, NSAIDs, and topical agents like imikimod, all can turn the immune system against the skin. The interplay between genes, immune dysregulation and environment makes psoriasis chronic and relapsing. Flare after flare, remission followed by return. It becomes a cycle woven into life itself. Doctors measure psoriasis with scales. Body surface area, or BSA, shows how much of the skin is involved. The PASI score combines redness, thickness, and scaling into one number. The Dermatology Life Quality Index, or DLQI, measures the unseen scars, how much the disease impacts daily life, from work to intimacy. For many, psoriasis remains mild, treated with creams and light therapy. For others, plaques cover large portions of the body, interfering with movement, sleep, and self-esteem. Lesions on hands can make simple tasks painful, scalp psoriasis may be mistaken for dandruff, adding embarrassment, and flare-ups on feet can make walking excruciating. Beyond the skin, quality of life is deeply altered. Psoriasis carries a heavy psychological burden. Stigma, misconceptions of contagion and visible disfigurement fuel social isolation. Depression is common, fueled both by immune inflammation and the pain of exclusion. Family life and relationships are affected. Patients may fear rejection, intimacy may suffer, and children may struggle with the visibility of the condition. Psoriasis is not just physical, it is personal, emotional, social. The good news? Most people experience only mild forms, treatable with topicals, but for the smaller group with severe disease, disability and systemic complications reshape their lives. Perhaps the heaviest weight is stigma. Too often, society fears what it does not understand. Psoriasis is not contagious but those who live with it are often treated as though it is. That misunderstanding deepens the wound. Today, science is unraveling the puzzle. By understanding the genetic and immune roots, by recognizing triggers, we open doors to treatments that target psoriasis at its source.